Good morning, Maryvale. Today is Thursday, September 7th. It is a day three. Lunch today is penne with meat sauce. Attention sixth graders. Do you like to sing? Have pizza parties? Sing fun songs? Hang out with your friends? And sometimes get a lot of candy? Then you should talk to Mr. Smith in room 182 to join chorus. If you have any questions about chorus, please come talk to Mr. Smith. It's time to change your Google password if you are still using your NV and six digits. If you already changed it in Google, you are all set. Let's watch a short video first. Today, let's talk about smart passwords. You use passwords every day, but are they keeping you safe? If your password is something simple like 1234, you and your personal information are at risk. Remember that smart passwords are your first line of defense against hackers and imposters. Here are a few tips from us at Connect Safely. Find more tips at connectsafely.org. Don't share passwords, even with friends. A friend can pass your password along accidentally or even become an ex-friend. Use multi-factor authentication. It's a tool offered by many apps and websites that give you two ways to verify who you are, like with a password and a code sent to your phone. Make passwords easy to remember but hard for others to guess. Be sure to include numbers, letters, uppercase letters, and symbols in your passwords. Don't fall for phishing scams. Avoid clicking on a link in an email, even if it appears to be from a legitimate site. Make passwords at least 8 characters. The longer, the better. Don't just use one password. Each app or website you use should have its own. Don't post your passwords in plain sight. This may seem obvious, but studies show that some people put passwords on a sticky note on their computer. Bad idea. For more advice, visit connectsafely.org slash passwords. Okay, so what do we need to do? When we're logged into our Chromebook, we're going to go into a plus button, or we're going to go into Google so that we get to see our Gmail, our Waffle, and yes, our icon for our account. When we click on our icon for our account, it's going to take us in to manage your Google account. Please click on that. When you go to manage your account, you're going to security. And then from security, how to sign in to Google. We're going to click and choose this. It says password was last changed. I can click here. It's going to prompt me to use my password that I currently have. So if it's your MV and your last six digits, you type it in here. And you can check to make sure that you typed it in correctly and press next. This will prompt you to change your password. You have to remember your password because it's going to be the password that you use to sign into your Chromebook and Google Drive on any device. It's the only way you'll be able to sign into your Chromebook from then on. Thank you. If you need any help after you've tried this, if your teachers can't help you, please um, stop down into room 209 and Mrs. Floss can help you. Happy birthday today to Knowledge McGlynn.